velocity acceleration and position vector our today's video is about velocity acceleration and position vector we will solve this simple numerical problem the statement of the numerical is a particle moves along the curve x is equal to 2t square y is equal to t square minus 4t and z is equal to 3t minus 5 find the components of the velocity and acceleration at time t is equal to 1 in the direction of i minus 3j plus 2k let's solve this numerical okay the given data is uh, we have x is equal to 2t square y is equal to t square minus 4t and z is equal to 3t minus 5 we will determine the component of velocity and acceleration at time t is equal to 1 in the direction of i minus 3j plus 2k Okay, let's suppose P, X, Y, Z be any point on the given curve and R is the position vector a point P relative to origin O. Then we have the vector R is equal to X, I plus Y, J plus Z, K. Now substitute the values for X, Y and Z in this equation x is given as 2t square y is given as t square minus 4t and z is given as 3t minus 5 then we have r is equal to 2t square i plus t square minus 4t into j plus 3t minus 5 into k now let's determine the velocity of this vector from this position vector uh, we know the velocity is the time rate of change of displacement and this r is we will take the derivative of this position vector r with respect to time then we have the velocity vector v is equal to dr by dt is equal to now taking the differential of this 2t square we will get 2 multiply 2 into t power 2 minus 1 into i plus t square will become 2t power 2 minus 1 minus 4 this t will become dt by dt is equal to 1 into j unit vector plus 3t 3t will become 3 and minus 5 will become 0 because minus 5 is a constant and the differential of constant with respect to time will be equal to 0 and the k is the unit vector uh, now we have this new equation after simplification 4ti plus 2t minus 4j plus 3k and this equation is the differential with respect to time of position vector r and it gives us the velocity. Now substituting the values for t is equal to 1 in this equation we will get the velocity at time t is equal to 1 as 4i plus 2 into 1 minus 4j plus 3k which is equal to 4i minus 2j plus 3k and this is the velocity of the particle moving along the curve at time t is equal to 1 for acceleration we will take the second derivative of this equation 4ti plus 2t minus 4j plus 3k we know that the velocity vector is equal to 4ti plus 2t minus 4j plus 3k now taking the differential of this equation with respect to time we will get acceleration a is equal to dv by dt is equal to d by dt and this 4ti plus 2t minus 4 into j plus 3k now taking the differential of this term we will get 4i this t will become 1 dt by dt is equal to 1 so 4i plus 2 and t will become 1 minus 4 this minus 4 will become 0 yeah. uh, because the differential of any constant is equal to 0 so 4i plus 2j plus 0 this 3k is the constant and taking the differential of this 3 with respect to time we will get 0 so we have 4i plus 2j and this is the acceleration acceleration of the object which is moving along the curve uh, now we will determine the component of the velocity and acceleration that was just the velocity and acceleration now we will determine the component of the velocity and acceleration at time t in the direction of this vector 
i minus 3j plus 2k. Now we know acceleration we have calculated is 4i plus 2j and velocity which we have determined is 4i minus 2j plus 3k. Now velocity and acceleration in the direction of i minus 3j plus 2k at time t is equal to 1. These are the velocity at time t is equal to 1 and this is the acceleration at time t is equal to 1. Now we will determine the component of the velocity in the direction of this vector i minus 3j plus 2k. It's pretty simple. Just take, just determine the unit vector of this vector and take the dot product of this velocity with that unit vector. Now we know the r unit vector is equal to r vector divided by r magnitude. And in this case, we have i minus 3j plus 2k, the r vector. And the magnitude of this vector is we have 1 square plus minus 3 whole square plus 2 square which is equal to under root 14 and i minus 3j plus 2k is this vector. Now we have our unit vector is equal to i minus 3j plus 2k divided by under root 14. Now for determine the component of the velocity. Uh, in the direction of i minus 3j plus 2k, we will take the dot product of this vector with uh, this one. Now, the dot product of this is v dot r is equal to 4i r unit vector. Okay, 4i minus 2j plus 3k into i minus 3j plus 2k into 1 over under root 14. Taking the dot product of this, we will have 4i dot i i dot i is equal to 1 and we have 4 multiply 1 is equal to 4. Uh, for this one, minus 3 multiply by minus 2. For the j component, we will have uh, plus 6. And this one is 3 multiply 2 is equal to 6, which is equal to 6 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 16. So, 16 divided by 14 is the component of the velocity in the direction of i minus 3j plus 2k at time t is equal to 1. This is answer number 1 and the answer number 2 for acceleration we have a dot r is equal to 4i plus 2j a dot i minus 3j plus 2k divided by under root 14. Now this time we have 4i dot i is equal to 1 so we have 4 uh, j dot j minus 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 6 uh, and the dot product of k dot 0 we have 0 multiply 0 so we will have 0 k uh, so we have 4 minus 6 into 1 over under root 14 and 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 2 divided by under root 14 and this is the component of the acceleration in the direction of i minus 3j plus 2k that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions. Thank you.